Hi, my name is Rene. I'm from Epic Armoring. Uh, first of all, I want to thank you guys for sharing your thoughts and making videos addressing issues or ideas when you uh, come upon our products and see that there are things that could be done even better or have, uh, have issues with something or questions. This morning, uh, me and the guys, we saw a video on YouTube by Shi Ting Yao, I hope I pronounced that correctly, uh, addressing an issue with our scabbard. Now, um, there are a few things in that video uh, that we would like to address and also uh, give you guys an understanding on how we see it. Um, so let's take it from the top. Here, in front of me, um, I have a Viking sword, a hybrid version, the same as uh, Xi Jing Yao had in his video, and we have a scabbard. Um, first, um, I want to clear out how the, the sword is built, because um, inside you have a fiberglass core, on top of that you have the foam, and then you have a layer of latex. And then on top of the layer of the latex, you have a coating, a varnish. And um, on the video uh, by Xi Jing Yao, um, you, we see a matte sword and a glossy sword. And there's no doubt that the, the matte sword um, has no varnish left on top of the latex. And of course, as time goes by, the varnish will be worn off if it's uh, used in scabbards and, and worn around and so on and so on. And that is why we recommend uh, maintenance silicone oil. And uh, Xi Jing Yao, he mentions that um, he tried to use an oil. Um, I want to point out that I hope it's a silicone oil, um, but there are a lot of oils out there. And if you have uh, an oil with a solvent, or some other chemicals inside uh, that are not matched up with the, the chemistry of the varnish, then the varnish will, will dissolve faster and be worn off the sword. Um, this one is made to match our varnish exactly, so the varnish will hold on longer. Um, now, so if we look at, uh, at uh, the sword, I have a Viking sword here, I'm just gonna just gonna cut a chip there, show, and it will actually show you. Um, we'll put this in a close-up picture, but this actually shows you that the foam in here, and then around that layer, you see a thick rubber layer around there, and that is actually the latex. The latex will almost never wear thin because the latex is so thick and it's so strong that that if you wore down the latex and and came into the foam part that sword would have been so old you know and and been used so much that it wouldn't be a problem now on top of that we see the coating um, and that is actually the coating i'm referring to as glossy a way to treat the coating is by applying silicone like that and then drying it with a cloth like that and then you have an even more glossy effect. Even if the coating is worn off after time, it's still really good uh, to maintain the, 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 the latex underneath with the same uh, silicone because that will protect it from uh, UV light, wear and tear. And uh, the next thing I'm going to address is the, the smoothness of the blade. So, looking at the scabbard uh, Xi Jing Yao has, uh, we noticed um, that inside the, the scabbard there are no felt. If we look at this picture now, we see that the red circle shows uh, just the mouth and inside of the scabbard, and in there there are no felt. And Felt is very, very important for the function of the scabbard if we are to slide the sword in and out without any friction. If you look at this sword, uh, this scabbard that I picked up the shelf, um, you see that we have felt all the way inside of the mouth and quite a long way down. And this actually results in the sword going in pretty smoothly. 
So, um, first of all, um, you can adjust the, the, the mount different places to have it hanging as you wish. So you can adjust it like that or like that or whatever. Um, that doesn't really matter so much in this case, but it does matter if you pull it out at a certain angle, you could adjust your scabbard to, to, to match that angle better um, if you want to pull out the sword without um, having too much friction. And of course, I must, I must admit that pulling out a sword from a scabbard is much easier if you grab the scabbard like that and pull out the sword. Um, I do admit that there could be a problem in having it hanging there and it just hangs like that and you want to pull it out that way. It, it will create a lot of friction. Of course, I would suggest that you pull it out straight from the scabbard. And, and even if you hold the scabbard like that and pressing it like Xin Xin Zhao, he, he mentions, then it of course gets easier. If you treat the, the, the latex and the coating, the varnish, with a silicone oil, it will have less friction. You can even take your silicone oil and just spray it into the mouth of the scabbard and that way you will actually have a two-in-one maintenance while you're putting your sword in the scabbard, you're also maintaining it. Uh, and that way it will come out even uh, with an with a even uh, layer of, of uh, silicone on that. It's important that you have that part of the mouth with filth so you, um, you protect your sword and don't scratch off the coating while you're using it. Um, I'm pretty sure that, that the, 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 the scabbard you have there is original, uh, but I want to use this opportunity to say that we do see some companies out there um, on Amazon, uh, eBay and other places using our pictures, using our products, uh, pictures and uh, names uh, for selling uh, copies of our product and we've seen it more than once now that people look at something on Amazon they see that there is a, um, a, a, a Squire bracer what for example um, and we know for a fact that this Squire bracer, bracer with us is made in a high quality VT leather and then when the customer receives it they call us and say I received this in a thin vinyl uh, fake plastic version and we for sure know we don't make it in, in, uh, in nothing else than a thick real leather. So in that sense um, we do know that there are fake copies out there. I'm not saying this is um, but if you want to make sure to get a genuine Epic Armory item you need to make sure that there's always a hang tag label uh, on the product um, and this hang tag label will also describe how to maintain the weapon. Uh, and in, in, in this case of the hybrid weapon, it will actually say that you should treat it with maintenance uh, silicone oil. So that's all for me. Um, if you have any questions for us, uh, do write them in the comment. We're going to upload this video to YouTube and uh, reply to you guys uh, every time uh, we see on the internet that uh, you have questions or, or, or ideas of how to do something. Uh, better or in another way. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Stay epic.